Thoma. As you mentioned there, um, the NFC 20s, uh, between the 4,300 mark analysts, uh, however optimistic uh, that this will continue to rise significantly after the referendum on the 4th of August. But joining us now in studio is Eric Musau, an independent analyst from Nairobi, to take us through the latest from the Nairobi th uh, Stock Exchange. Thanks for joining us, Eric. Thank you. It's let's, be let's begin by looking at housing finance. Uh, quite impressive results there, 56% up. Uh, up profits uh, after tax and of course that's in re reflection to the projections that we've had uh, on the growth of the real estate sector. What's your analysis of those results? Well I think the earnings were very strong um, and, and that's obviously a reflection of the strength of the property market and, and obviously coming from, from a low base, they, they, last year they also reported very strong earnings and this year as well, uh, after they recapitalized um, some time back, basically it's made them very, 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 very well positioned for the sector. Uh, and, and obviously, you know, if you look at you know the expansion that they are looking at, you know, they're in the right sector and, and they're going to grow relatively well. So. Mm. Now, of course, uh, lending was uh, among the top revenue drivers for uh, the housing firm. The MD, uh, Frank Herreri, also mentioned about possible long-term funding for the company. What do you think the firm will be looking at? Obviously, um, it, it's been mentioned a housing bond is the, the one that is most likely to be to be suitable for the for, for housing finance. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, it, it, it's quite suitable because of the longer maturity. Uh, and obviously also the, the tax incentive that the government put in place. So those two factors would make it quite attractive for housing finance. Kennel Cobill is also on the news today. Uh, that's about the wrangles it's currently having with the Kenya Petroleum Refinery Limited. Uh, there has been a fear of a looming fuel shortage, but the government seems to have come uh, to their rescue. What exactly is happening there? I mean, it's it's been a long-running uh, sort of uh, litigation with the, the Kenya Pe Petroleum Refinery. Uh, what the Kenya Petroleum Refinery did is that it withheld the stock uh, belonging to Kennel Corbill uh, over the non-payment of, uh, of, of 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 refining charges, which which had been in in court. Uh, but you know, basically, the the Kennel Corbill petitioned the government, and it got that re reprieve. And basically, today, that consignment was released. Obviously, there are also other issues uh, pending there because we also have the um, we also have the 4.9 billion, which which Kennel Cobill is claiming from the refinery, uh, uh, and so I think we are yet to see this fully settled. So we'll just wait and see. Now, how's the sh stock uh, reacting to that particular news? And seeing that we are expecting their uh, results on the 29th of this month, that's just next week. Um, how do you see? You know, what are your expectations? Uh, keeping in mind what's currently going on. I mean, going by management guidance, the earnings should be very good. I mean, in the previous half, what they did is that they wrote off uh, a, a loss from from the from the supply of uh, the, the the basically they, they supplied a consignment and that went bad. So in the previous period, that 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 really weighed down the earnings. This time, it should be very good. Uh, yes. But the market hasn't been very positive given the, the wrangles with the Kenya Petroleum Refinery. So we've seen the price coming off slightly. Let's look at Equity Bank and how the stock is currently reacting to the 46% up in profits posted yesterday. Uh, the CEO as well as analysts are pretty optimistic about this share, uh, saying now is the time to position yourself, uh, seeing as uh, historically Equity Bank performs much better during the second half of the year and we saw their first half be, to be quite impressive. Yeah, I mean, the earnings were quite strong. Uh, and, and in fact, some, some analysts were probably predicting much stronger earnings. Uh, but, but nonetheless, we've seen the market just holding on steady. In fact, today it lost a little bit, about 1%. Uh, but but not, nothing, nothing substantial. I think the market will wait to see in the second half how well it performs, maybe from the third quarter earnings, and just give a reflection before we see any other substantial movement on the stock. Um, a bonus share there for National Bank of Kenya shareholders who have spent uh, the last 10 years without a single dividend. Is this just a soothing message for investors? And what are the key areas you think National Bank should be looking at? Uh, we've heard about a privatization in the making probably towards the end of this year. I mean, uh, a bonus share probably doesn't help much uh, for, for the case of the, uh, the shareholders of National Bank. I think the thing they want to see is whether you know, the bank will come back to a dividend growth path. But obviously, it's far behind when you compare to the other banks in the sector which have recapitalized uh, and they've expanded their, their, their network and also their, their IT systems. 
so from that standpoint, even when national banks get back into positive equity this year, uh, even though they'll be in a position to pay dividends, it, it will be difficult to see how they're going to do that given the challenges, the competitive pressure from the rest of the sector. Mm -hmm. And it will be very important if we could have an, a new strategic investor coming into the bank to really position it well in the market. Finally, Eric, uh, there's a lot of concern about the August 4th referendum. And when I spoke to you earlier, you said, you know, it shouldn't really be a big deal. The government seems to be, uh, you know, putting all its, uh, to put its house in order as we get uh, towards the 4th of August. How's the market currently responding to uh, the oncoming referendum? I, I don't think the market has uh, panicked per se, um, but, but I think there's a lot of sense, you know, I'll, I'll wait and see sort of uh, attitude in the market. Uh, but, but, you know, the market has, uh, would probably respond much more positively if, if, uh, if Kenyans uh, voted yes for the, for the constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously, I even beyond that, I think it is just a judgment of what's going to happen whichever way Kenyans vote. And of course, this will be a test, uh, you know, for the Kenyan economy as the government has continually tried to build uh, an environment uh, that is befitting for foreign direct investment. 